Hi guys, I'm looking for Lewis and you're watching Fun for Louis. Good morning guys. It is half past nine, I've had three hours sleep and we are on our way back to Surrey. It's been a lovely time in Brighton. How you doing Dave? I'm sleepy. I have more sleep than you but I'm not ready for the world yet. Me and Dave have got nice little beds in the back here. Steve's driving runners back to, <laughs> back to home. Oh, and I'm actually going to go get back up, to sleep for a little up, bit. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Sunday lunchtime, yeah, roast dinner, roast beef. Oh, this is amazing. I love roast dinner. Well, that was a delicious lunch. And we're now gonna have a look at this package that my dad's got in the post for peeling oranges, is it? Yeah, I mean you get apple sort of uh, peelers and corers here in the UK, but you can't get these uh, these orange peeler things. My friend Brazil sent it to me from China, so we're gonna have a go. Dad, is this gonna get messy? Is my question. Um, <clears throat> no, it should just cut down to the fleshy bit, get rid of the skin and all the pith, and uh, no juice until you juice it. That is the longest orange peel I've seen in my life. That is amazing. Right, I'm gonna give this a go. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh it's cut in. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I did it. I did it too deep. I did it too deep. It's leaking, right? Oh, no. It went too deep. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Keep whining. Keep going. Oh, go, 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 oh, go, go, go. Oh, no. No. Oh, <laughs> we failed again. Up. We failed again. <laughs> I think we're going to come back to the oranges. I think it's a bit of an art form. We are now trying an apple though. Let's have a look at this. Oh yeah. Oh. That is cool. Yeah. You've got to find a dish, Dad, that you can make with that you uh, apple peel. Yeah, you can make some really cool desserts with that. I'm liking this idea. The good thing about the weekend, guys, is that people are around. If you're living with your family, they're not at work. My dad's not at work today, so we're trying to think of something fun to do. It is windy outside, so we came up with this plan to make a kite. Um, so we're just watching YouTube tutorials at the moment. So we've got our frame, and we're just measuring up this bag to see if we can use this as the main kite body. Luckily, my dad had some kite string. That's looking all right. That is looking all right. So we've got the frame done. We've got the string around the outside. Now we just need to attach the plastic. So my dad's attached a pretty tail to the bottom of the kite and we're going to go out and experiment. Hopefully we can get this flying. This may be a big failure. How confident are you about this dad? 50-50, I, I think it's going to just twist and do a lot of dives. It's going to be fun though. It's all about adjusting things and sort of like problem solving. If it doesn't go right first time, adjust to it, make it go right next time. <laughs>
the tail needs weighing down, so I'm taking my socks off. So now Louis is putting his wallet in away. the sock to create more weight. Well, this isn't going too well, guys, but we're, we're sticking at it. I'm sure we can get figure this out. Kite making is hard. I think a combination of the wind dying and our bad kite making skills has meant that this has been a complete failure. But not all video, not all YouTube videos tutorials are amazing. No. This is one of them. And I think this just means that we're going to have to attempt this again. Uh, maybe do our research a bit better. But um, if anyone's good at making kites, maybe you can give us some tips. All right, we're going to head, going to head home. And maybe you guys could go and make a kite with your dad or someone important in your life and uh, have some bonding time like we just did. <laughs> right, we're sitting down for some food. What have you made for us, Dad? Really heated wagon mummery food I made the other day with lots of chilli. Oh, this looks good. Mm. Right, I've jumped in Nick's car and we're going out for a little drive and we may do some penny boarding and we may get a coffee. How are you doing, Nick? <laughs> yeah, I'm right. <laughs> I haven't seen this guy since June, we think June last year, which is like ages. We like we used to like live together unofficially. Yeah. <laughs> but hello, I'm good. But it's good to uh, it's good to see each other, probably have a nice little catch up tonight. Get up to some mischief. We're already up to mischief, look at this. We are at the late night skate spot. skate spot. Haven't been here in a long time and I'm looking forward to this. Turns out we just bumped into our friends Matt and Will. Hey. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Getting a cheeky little Starbucks. Are you vlogging me, Louis? I'm vlogging you. You're vlogging me. You, huh. Crazy. Yeah. Um, guys, I just got in the car and I may have spilt coffee on me. That's definitely not we. Louis urinating coffee. Oh. <laughs> guys, look how many penny balls we got. Guys, this is my friend Nat, oh. and she's an extreme penny boarder. She, look, look at that, that is crazy. You're crazy. That was the first time I used it. That is yeah. insane. And these are tough, <laughs> these boards are tough. I had a car run over my penny board, it did break. So much fun. So tired. Right, it's 20 past 12 and uh, <laughs> we're, we're heading off. It's Good. been a fun night, Nick. Oh, bye, Louis. And I'll, uh, I'll see you soon, bro. I miss you, man. Peace out. Boom. I'll, uh, I'll catch you tomorrow for uh, another fun day. Peace out. Enjoy life. Live the adventure. Boom. <laughs>